servicemen who were secretly exposed to nuclear radiation five years ago. Now, for the very first time, the government has confirmed it caused cancer. There is no question that the water was contaminated. Tom Wilborn was among thousands who served here at McMurdo Station, a U.S. Navy base in Antarctica, and it was powered by this, a portable nuclear reactor. But our investigation found at least 438 malfunctions from 1964 to 1972, including leaking water surrounding the reactor and hairline cracks in the reactor lining. It was finally shut down in 1972. This was an experimental reactor at McMurdo. It did not work well almost from the first day. But you and others were never told of the dangers. Never told. We were never told that um, the water was contaminated. Our investigation prompted two federal hearings. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passed. That supported our findings. Take a break now. now in this ruling, a VA Board of Appeals found Wilborn's exposure was grossly underestimated and his cancer was service connected. Even more significant, it found evidence that strongly suggests others may have been exposed to higher levels as well. I've suffered from colon cancer because of, and it's been ruled as service connected, which means that I acquired it while I was at McMurdo. But our investigation also found veterans across the country had their complaints rejected by the Veterans Administration for years. This is my memory box. Memories are all Elaine Swinney has left. As he lay dying in my arms, I, I told him, I said, you know, he had asked me to, to go ahead and pursue this. Now, with this recent ruling. Does this give you reason for new hope? Of course, definitely. It gives me a little, you know, it, it, well, actually it gives me a lot more energy to follow this through. It also clears the way for others, and that's important to me. Uh, I worked with a lot of guys down there who are my friends and I have memories of them. I worked with uh, men who had cancer and were dying and had claims before the VA and they all passed on, a whole stack of them that's all. How significant is it that this link has been made? Well, it's very significant. Gary Augustine is executive director for the Disabled American Veterans in Washington. And in this case, you were discovered that these people that were serving up on this post were exposed to radiation that may have never come to light if you had not done your investigations. Even so, no one can say with certainty how many others have either died or given up fighting for service-connected compensation. We used all of our savings. We used everything we had. We lost our home. We lost everything. Including this. Bankruptcy claimed both the instrument and the music her husband found so comforting. The VA declined to comment, but we found there are at least 26 other veterans still waiting for answers. I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan. On March 3rd of 1962, operators activated a nuclear power plant at the McMurdo Station. The plant, like nearby Scott's Discovery Hut, was prefabricated in modules. Engineers designed the components to weigh no more than 30,000 pounds and to measure no more than 8 foot by 8 inches by 8 foot 8 inches by 30 feet. A single core, no longer than an oil drum, served as the heart of the nuclear reactor. These size and weight restrictions were intended to allow the reactor to be delivered in LC-130 Hercules aircraft. However, the components were actually delivered to a vessel. The reactor generated at 1.8 megawatts of electrical power and reportedly replaced the need for 1,500 gallons of oil daily. Engineers applied the reactor power, for instance, in producing steam for the salt water distillation plant. As a result of continuing safety issues, hairline cracks in the reactor, and water leaks, the U.S. Navy Nuclear Power Program decommissioned the plant in 1972. There was over 400 malfunctions and they found hairline fractures within this nuclear reactor. Many, many people have came down sick 
at this base, people that went to McMurdo Station. Experimental reactor, experimental Navy personnel, lab experiments.